It's beer o'clock on Regan Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be showing you how to load a keg, I was going to say a torp, a keg of Zipfer Urtop for the blade beer. So what we're going to do first is open the top. I think I'm going to do it from a distance. I'm not going to get right close. So, I mean, it's... It's fairly simple to do. You, you open the tap. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> Grab all of your keg. Unwind the nozzle. Take the clip off the top. Very firmly push in on the button. Like so. And then load it into the machine as we have here being careful to get the nozzle in like so, the wife's coming in from work um, so that's, that's launched, that's locked and loaded, turn it on, lock it, it'll make a noise, and then what you do, put the lid back on, let the temperature on the machine, well I've pre-chilled this keg. It's been in my fridge for, well, about a week to be honest. That's going to go down to the cold light at the bottom. It's already showing the keg is full. Do you want to see? Let's, let's show you properly. Full keg. Temperature goes down to the bottom. And then you can serve your beer. So. Once the temperature goes down to the bottom, nice and cold, in about two minutes, we'll come and pour a beer. Okay, so the keg has had a few minutes to settle. Well, I'll tell a lie. I went and ate my pizza, I just had some dinner. So I'm back. Let's give it a pour. Here's the first pour off the machine. Just out of practice. <laughs> Let's move to the side so you can see it. It is 5.4% ABV. It's from an Austrian brewery called Zipfer. It's, I've had a quick look on, very rarely do I do this because I normally know the, the styles of beer, but I've been on Beer Advocate. I haven't been on Beer Advocate for a long, long time. Um, they said it's 5.4% ABV and it's a European style pale lager. So there we go, that's, that's, that's what it is. So it's straw coloured, as you would, as you would expect. Slow moving carbonation, but it's really, you can see how nice and cold it is. See the condensation on the glass. It's down to two degrees. The head, as I've, I've been speaking, what, for a minute or so now, has sorted itself out quite quickly. This machine is fantastic, I love it. It's pub quality beer in your house. Same with the Krebs. Same with the Perfect Draft. Love these machines. The reason why I got three, I'll get into the beer in a moment. The, the reason why I got three is, is anybody old enough to remember the Betamax VHS war? There's certain exclusives on the Perfect Draft, certain exclusive beers. There's a few certain exclusive beers on the Krebs, the Subcompact, and there's a few exclusive beers on the Zipfer and it's kind of like that B VHS Betamax battle that one of them will win out 
in my eyes, I think one of these machines will win out and all of the beer will then be available on this, on, on one of these machines. That's my own personal theory anyway. Let me know in the comments box. Maybe if two litres your thing, maybe the perfect dra uh, the, the Krups will win. If you want a big eight litre keg like me, I love a big eight litre keg. Maybe it's the Blade beer. Or six litres, Philips Perfect Draft. Maybe that machine's for you. Anyway, let's get the aroma. Lovely tight head. Fresh as you like. Beautiful kind of stinging nettle. Light grainy aromas. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's Friday afternoon. I'm about to do a live stream at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. It's about quarter past six, so the live stream will start in 45 minutes. I'm so pleased that I've tapped this keg. It's 17 degrees outside, not too cold, not too warm. It's the end of summer live stream on the Stone Crow Virtual Pub, or at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. And this is really crisp, really drinkable. Nice and cold. It's going to go down really well at the Stone Crow. Light, refreshing, crisp, cold, great quality beer. The quality of this beer is absolutely fantastic. Touch of stinging nettle, nice little bit of bitterness on the back end. But it's all about the drinkability. It's all about the drinkability of this beer. Really good. So good. I think I'm going to have another. I just want to pour it again because I just want to see if there's an improvement on after I pulled the first beer. That was the first pull. Nothing, nothing before that. Let's see if there's any improvement. <clears throat> there you go. Much improved second pour. There's, there's always, you know, there's a little bit of froth in the glass, so... Um, from before so it was always going to be a, a, a it's not a great massive big head but there was always going to be a bit of head on this one because there was a lump of froth in the bottom of the glass I could have thrown it out the back you know that type of thing but we went with it if you're like me if you're impatient if you want your beer quickly you just pour it out that's not bad it's not bad at all you'd expect it to be poured like that for you if you were in Germany or the Czech Republic or Belgium for that matter. Great beer, I'm going to rate it. Looks good. Smells good, tastes good, it's crisp and refreshing. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. I'm going to drink a wallop of this tonight. I'm going to drink so many of these pints tonight. I just fancy it, I fancy it. Um, the, the other thing I wanted to mention quickly is it tastes exactly the same as it did in the Krebs. I've already already done a review in the Krebs machine, so if you want to have a look at the Zipfer European Pale Lager in the Krebs subcompact, then check that out. And thanks for watching tonight. I'm going to rate it. I like that beer enough to give it 
an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.